Okay, what we have here is a Dell D630. It was sent in to us by a user in Georgia. So, this user stated that they had it repaired by a computer outfit off of uh, eBay in Florida. So, uh, we're just going to check and see what's going on with it and figure out uh, what can be done to fix it. Currently we're seeing double screens here that's called the artifacting. Uh, it's pretty common with the NVIDIA chipsets. Um, so we know that the GPU is what's bad on it and not the memory. So after we're done here we'll go back, uh, take it apart and uh, Refloat or reball it and see what happens. So what we have here is we've taken the uh, keyboard off and the screws out, and we're just taking a look at this system. As we notice here, uh, on a typical D630, D620 system. This is going to be your coprocessor, your main processor, and your GPU. Usually there's a copper boot on top of that from Dell. What we're seeing here is an aluminum uh, heat sink on most all of these. So when we take a look, we're seeing flash tape and heat sinks. Uh, made out of aluminum with a large amount of uh, ceramic thermal compound, not the Arctic Silver. Arctic Silver has a higher uh, transfer rate of heat, and this ceramic based uh, thermal compound dries out and insulates the system uh, greater and uh, quicker than the uh, Arctic Silver. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish taking this system apart. I'm going to check the fan, check the heat sinks, and um, check a few other things and then see if we need to refloat or reball it. Now our user has stated that the heat caused the system to uh, uh, run the fan so the fan run at high speed the complete time and overheated greatly our thoughts and ideas were that this system was modified with a thermoelectric uh, cooling unit and that the fan cable was clipped now we're not seeing that what we're seeing is just a generic aluminum based uh, heat sink at the current moment so we're going to take this this part off, we're going to take this screen off, and then move from there and see what, what else we find. So then now uh, we have this uh, system apart. We're noticing telltale signs of ceramic compound here, uh, taped where the uh, shim is at. That's an aluminum shim. And we're also seeing exactly what we believed would be um, another issue. We have a fan here <coughs> that has been soldered straight into the circuit board along with uh, this part being um, uh, what has happened is it appears it's been soldered together on a junction wire soldered into the board and then taped with uh, liquid tape. So you have liquid tape all over the place here and um, this system is actually running straight to the main circuit. Not a very good thing. It actually looks like it's, uh, you know, has modified the board. So here we're looking at the uh, heat sink. Lots of ceramic thermal compound, not a very good uh, heat displacer. 
and an actual uh, aluminum shims here. Uh, looks pretty standard, like you're looking at, um, you know, aluminum from uh, from your Walmart or something like that, layered up and then compounded with uh, epoxy there. Or not epoxy, but uh, ceramic. So this one came off the GPU. It's pretty dense, uh, but it's just folded up aluminum. And uh, we have another one here that's uh, folded up aluminum with more uh, ceramic compound on it. Now what we see, and this stuff gets all over the place, what we see is this has been taped to uh, keep the uh, aluminum, which is metal, from touching the electrically charged capacitors on there and actually blowing the system. So uh, our user had sent this down to Precision Division in Florida and this is the kind of work that we're seeing come out of that uh, repair depot actually this has done more to damage the board by modifying this fan um, and then doing this right here this tape is actually trapped heat in to cause the uh, GPUs and the coprocessors to overload now the memory modules will probably need to be reflowed also and testing the processor along with the uh, rest of the board but this circuit this circuit has been redone so as you will have to find a fan to actually uh, clip the cable off and repair it now this is a standard uh, deal that we were seeing um, the yellow wire here black wire and red wire uh, these have been soldered straight into the board so we're going to have to actually reverse engineer this board and then find a plug with a wire kind of like this to uh, plug this back in and put it back to where it doesn't run at full speed constantly uh, because obviously that didn't help this system because our users sent it to us after they had their 120 day warranty be revoked uh, by precision division so we'll get right on this to fix it and then see what happens so now we have our board um, ready to reflow it's heating up uh, we actually went and redid the fan put a new uh, plug on it and what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, heat up this chipset and this chipset. So that's the coprocessor, that's the GPU. This will be the low level, low voltage uh, chipset. So we'll heat up these three. This one uh, runs USBs, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, other devices that are low level. Uh, this GPU actually has VRAM on it, so we'll heat up that VRAM. And the coprocessor actually interprets the code from the uh, two other um, chipsets and delegates its duties and tells it what to do. So we'll heat this up, and then after we heat it up and reflow it, uh, we'll move on to uh, testing and uh, rebuilding and seeing if we're done and uh, have a working system okay so we've finished with the reflow process we're going to turn this on and uh, see if we still have the same issue so the uh, system turns on looks pretty good we're gonna uh, check and see yeah, what's in there saying oh yeah so uh, we're gonna go F2. Just make sure that everything looks fine. Uh, screen looks perfectly fine. Got the uh, serial number and all right there. Everything's fine. 
So now we're going to uh, exit out of here and see that um, everything boots in the windows perfectly fine. After that, we're going to uh, pretty much say that the system has been repaired. So. Now with the uh, D630s, they have a uh, MVS chipset on them. And with the MVS chipset, that has to have its own specialized um, NVIDIA driver put on it. It's not like the GeForce drivers. It's an actual different driver. That driver is um, pretty much the mobile uh, driver for the higher end NVIDIA cards. So after those higher end NVIDIA cards, uh, they have um, different uh, properties, different drivers, and have to be updated differently. So if you go and dro download the GeForce driver, you're not going to get the driver download for uh, this for the Dell systems like this. As we can tell, our client actually stated that this system had a uh, fan issue. The fan would run on high speed constantly. And we actually uh, fixed that. You cannot hear the fan running uh, at the current moment.